Greetings everyone, my name is Junior Jordan and today I will be walking you through my what I would like to call a detailed PowerPoint presentation about one positive effect of the COVID-19 forced lockdown, which is the introduction and expansion of online teaching. We all know that COVID-19 is one of the most severe pandemics that has ever occurred in human history, which I doubt we'll ever forget. It has affected the way we live and changed some of the ways we used to do things. The beginning of lockdown. According to SA News 2020, a national lockdown was declared on March 23 and would begin on March 27, 2020. And on March 27, 2020, the first local COVID-19 related death was recorded promoting pandemic and chaos all around the world as it is a very dangerous and contagious virus. These lockdown regulations were put in place to prevent and stop further spread of the coronavirus in the country, whereby any movement of people and animals was restricted. Every person was forced to stay at home for their own safety. The COVID-19 had a very bad impact on education because it restricted the process of teaching and learning from taking place. And as I've mentioned earlier, this virus is very contagious, meaning that it can be easily transferred from one person to another, meaning that going to school or any other public places whereby people can gather around would further spread the virus. The strict lockdown regulations at that time forced schools and universities along with other work institutions to close, meaning that teachers could no longer go to work and learners could no longer go to school, meaning that there would no longer be a face-to-face -face or traditional processes of teaching and learning. And because of this issue, schools had to put forward ideas to make sure that the process of teaching and learning carries on. Teachers' experiences and difficulties. Such unexpected circumstances, like lockdown, forced teachers to continue doing their job. Even though it wasn't easy, something had to be done, because nothing could have prepared them for the pandemic. This is where the introduction of online teaching came in. The introduction of online teaching in schools. Online teaching is a process of teaching in an online or networked environment in which teachers and learners participate from separate physical locations, meaning that it is a distance teaching and learning through technology and online tools. The lockdown forced the process of teaching and learning to be transitioned online, whereby teachers and learners collaborated visually using technology devices. Because since there could no longer be contact classes, teaching and learning had to take place from a distance over online platforms. This right here is a good example of what an online class looks like. Online classes are one of the best things ever introduced because even though you can't be in the same space together, you can all still collaborate and share ideas over platforms like this, whereby teaching and learning can still take place as this platform has features that allows you to do things that you can do in a physical class, like raising your hand if you have a question and everyone has access to a mic and a camera so that, so that everyone can see each other. Teachers had to introduce learners to e-learning. Both teachers and learners had to learn how to use computers to enhance the process of teaching and learning. Remember, online learning involves the use of technology. So this cannot be possible without any basic computer skills. Hence, teachers had to relearn and upgrade their teaching skills to adapt to the changing world. In the beginning of online teaching, teachers were not used to teaching with technologies because this was all new to them. They were used to using old traditional teaching and learning methods. It was not easy as this situation was, was unpredicted and some of the resources were not even available. Some schools are not fortunate enough to have computer labs with desktop computers that work properly and can accommodate each and every learner. They don't have overhead projectors 
and um, smart boards. So teachers had to use what they had in order for the process of teaching and learning to continue. Teachers finally adapted and managed to make online learning work. Teachers made use of social media platforms such as WhatsApp, which was the most used media during lockdown by teachers to give learners content, assessment, and homework. As it is the most used app and it accommodates everyone. I mean, most learners nowadays, if not all, have smartphones and have access to WhatsApp. Expansion of online teaching. Once the learners and teachers were familiar with online learning, it was expanded, meaning that many online platforms were used to facilitate teaching and learning. Here on the picture are some of the few social media platforms that were used to facilitate teaching and learning during lockdown, which includes Telegram, WhatsApp, YouTube for educational YouTube videos, and many other platforms that were also used like LinkedIn, Facebook, and Skype. Furthermore, on the expansion of online teaching, teachers had to be innovative and try new things, learn new skills, and think outside the box. They even came up with ways to assess learners using online tools. They used tools like online quizzes, online assessment, and many others. One positive effect of lockdown was the introduction and expansion of online teaching. Even though lockdown may have had many negative effects, it does not mean it had no positive effects. One of the positive effects of it was to introduce the what we call online learning. Another positive effect of lockdown is the enhancement of the 21st century skills. Remember, there are four C's of the 21st century skills, which are critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity. Remember, we are now moving to the fourth industrial revolution, which requires a critical thinking generation. Hence, our learners are being taught the 21st century skills so that they can be relevant in future. We live in the 21st century, where technology is advancing each and every day. Today's generation is the first generation to be born into technology. So this is going to be very beneficial for them even in the future because we are approaching the era where most of the things will be done on online platforms. And they need to know the importance of having and understanding the computer skills during this time. That's it for me and my presentation for today. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much. Have yourself a very wonderful day.